Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial, Avid Studio Pro, watch and learn. Today we're doing a tutorial on the effect that you chose. That's right, the number one vote getter, the matrix effect. So, let's get into it. First off, you want to use a tripod when you do this shot. You want everything to be absolutely still, as still as possible. So you got to use a tripod. Secondly, when you start off the shot, stand still for a few seconds before you start moving. And then when you're done, stand still for a few seconds before you stop taking. It's really going to help you out a lot in the editing process. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull your footage down into the timeline. And you want to stretch your timeline all the way out. I have my timeline stretched all the way out so I can see each and every keyframe because you want to be real precise with this. You want to move forward to a position where your talent stops moving. Get another shot. So I'm going to move this forward to a position that I want it to be at. And I'm going to start right there. Now, you want to like, how do you know to go there? Well, because I use a notepad for the positions where I want to do my splits, my cuts, and things I want to delete out. And for this tutorial, you, you want to do the same thing because, like I said, you want to be real precise. So now that I got into the position that I want, I'm going to split this clip here. And I'm going to delete the front part. Don't need it. And I'll bring my timeline back down. And I'm going to move this to the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch my timeline all the way back out again. The only reason why I brought it back down was to make it easier to get to where I want it to be. And then I'm going to move forward to a position where the talent starts moving. And we're going to make that right here. And I'm going to split the clip there. I'm not going to cut it out. Now you could have just used a marker if you wanted to, but... Uh, I like to split the clip. It's just me. It's how I like to do things. It's my tutorial, my video. I'm doing it my way. Next thing you want to do is you want to copy the back end of this. And you want to go ahead and place it into a timeline track above where you're at now. But, of course, it's going to put it behind it. So I'm going to bring this back down. And then I'm going to... Put this right above the other track. Now I'm going to copy it one more time. Paste it. And I'm going to put another one right above that one. Now I'm going to stretch my timeline back out. Because once again, like I said, I want each specific keyframe on here. So now that I have these three separate parts... What I'm going to do is I'm going to move each one over three keyframes behind the other one. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on one of the clips and open the effects editor. I'm going to go to camera. Oh, sorry, 2D, 3D. And I'm going to go to studio PIP. And for the default, I'm going to change it to no preset. Then I'm going to go to video, and I'm going to change the transparency to 50. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to do the same thing to the clip above it. Now what you'll see is I have my clips all set up. If I go back to the beginning and hit play, you get a nice little surprise. The matrix effect. There it is. 
easy to do, really cool effect, and you can use it for your videos now because I showed you how to do it.